வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் எஸ்ஐபி மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் த லாஸ்ட் செஷன் வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் இன்ட்ரோடக்ஷன் வாட் ஆர் த கான்செப்ட்ஸ் இன் திஸ் செஷன் வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் ஹவு த டிமாண்ட் இஸ் என்டர்ட் இன் டு த சிஸ்டம் அண்ட் ஹவு டு எவால்வேட் த டிமாண்ட் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ ஹவு டு ரீஆர்கனைஸ் த டிமாண்ட் பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டு த செஷன் லெட் அஸ் சி த ஆன்சர்ஸ் ஃபார் தி குவிஸ் we discuss in the last session what are the two types of demands the independent demand and dependent demand can a metal have dependent demand and independent demand explain with example yes the metal can have dependent demand and independent demand for example a component used in a product and also it is used as a spare then when it is used as a product it is dependent demand when it is used as a spare it is independent demand for example if you take the car, car no the tire used in a car when it is sold as uh, a spare it is independent demand but when it is used in a car to produce the car then it is called as dependent demand planning is only material requirement planning true or false what i am asking is planning process means it is just only mrp no there are multi levels of planning we discussed profitability analysis sales and operations planning demand management material requirements planning so these multiple levels of planning should have a communication between each other uh, i mean the feedback should be going on from top to bottom bottom to top then only the overall planning for the organization will be effective what are the four directions of the consumption of planning strategy we discussed no so this is in the mrp3 view there is a consumption mode and the, what are the directions the directions are backward direction it may consume or it may consume first backward then forward or forward direction only or forward and backward so which are the elements consume the demand so elements consuming demand are sales order invoice dependent requirement and reservations so what are the elements considered availability check So in availability check we consider the future supply that is inward movement and then what is available inventory and then requirements that is outward movements and then what is the total replenishment lead time then what is replenishment lead time replenishment lead time is a total time required either to procure or produce a metal from the date of the order that is the total lead time right okay so now uh, after completing all the mass data now we started we are discussing about what is demand now we are discussing how this demand management is handled in sap that is what we are focusing in this session so let us discuss the the overview of this uh, demand management right so the demand management is the inputs for the demand management are the sales order long term planning sales and operations planning these are all the inputs coming directly from market so these are all called what independent demand okay they are coming as a demand planning and these demand plan are then running as a master production scheduling and the material recurrent planning they explored bill of materials to purchase the metal which means these are all called dependent demand also we have consumption based on or kanban based planning also those things also those things also dependent planning okay so now this independent demand and dependent demand are there handling all these things together that is called the demand management so you should be very clear what is independent demand what is dependent demand how they are combined together so that the overall demand is coming as a purchasing person you should know these concepts because there may be some demand which people may not enter into the system like a Uh, a frequently consuming material they consider only dependent demand they do not consider independent demand then there will be issue or one metal is used to from two or three different departments they don't capture the department requirements because of this there will be conflict all these issues may occur so you should be very clear whether they are capturing all the dependent requirements and the independent requirements into the system so that system run mrp and give the output in the right way now let us see how the demand is entered into the system the demand is entered into the system using the transaction called md61 
or the menu path is shown here. So after entering the transaction MD61, system will bring us to this screen. So first we will start to enter what is the demand or which metal we are entering the demand. So demand can be entered either for material or for product group or for requirement plan. So here we selected the material. The next is the version. So version is that what kind of version we are going to use. This is to identify which version we are using, which version we are using for simulation for those kind of requirements. Version 00 is normally used for production version, which is used in the regular and business planning purpose. There are other versions like 01, 02, 03, they are used for different simulation purposes like budget process or long term planning or sales and operations planning, both those kind of things we can use it. And then there is a planning bucket. A plan can be used either daily basis or weekly basis or monthly basis. So here we entered the weekly basis or uh, other options also there. Accordingly, we can select. And then this is the planning horizon. Planning horizon is from which period to which period we are going to plan it. So for example, here we entered is 29th March to 3rd May. That is a period we are going to enter the plan. So after entering those details, now we are in the uh, further uh, data entry screen. Here we are seeing three tab. One is called table, another is called items, another is called schedule lines. We are in the table screen where we are going to see the details, item wise, week wise details. So here the details which are showing is material wise and also the column which is showing the version and also the materials quantity. The quantity is shown here week wise. What is the bucket we entered now that week week 13 or week 14, for example, 70, 75. The quantity is there. Now the version is showing 00 as the version which is used. And then the quantity what we entered on the weekly basis based on the period metal will be available. For example, if we enter that is 17 numbers in week 30, week 13, then that metal should be available on the first day of the week. That is the meaning. For example, another example is if you are entering the monthly demand, then the metal should be available on the first day of the month. So please take note of it. When you enter the demand numbers, you should be very careful that the periods first day metal should be available. If it is a weekly demand, then metal should be available on the first day of the week. If it is monthly demand, then metal should be available on the first day of the uh, month. Okay. Now we are in the item wise cumulative uh, requirement view. Here we see what is the requirement type. For example, requirement based on the strategy it will appear. For example, strategy 10 means LSF, 40 means VSF, 50 means VSE. Like these different requirement types will be there based on the planning strategy. And also the consumption indicator. Here, if it is a blank, the plan is not consumed during the customer order, but only during the sales order. So the options, the one, two, three, four different options are shown here. And then here we see whether multiple schedules are there because here we are seeing the total quantity. For example, for this particular material, we are seeing the total quantity of uh, 40 numbers, right? No, no, that is strategy is 40. So the total one line is showing as a quantity here. But if it is in different schedules no then system will show this schedule tick line there now that will be showing that so whatever that multiple schedule what we saw in that items now the tick line now when i come into this select schedule lines right this tab we can see all the details here the header page it will be showing that the materials what is the planning version requirement type requirement plan etc and um, so we can have all the details displayed here and also we can see the period wise you now week 13 week 14 week 15 what is the quantity required those details are appearing so now like this all the demand details when we are entering it, it we can see them in different uh, templates like a table format or uh, items uh, format or the schedule line format now we entered the demand details into the system but uh, somebody is changing or some changes happened because of various reasons because plans are subject to change right so we want to see the change how to see the changes now select the line item what where we want to see the change and then go to the menu that to select go to 
select the item history. When I select this item history and press it, we can see all the details of the changes on which date, who changed it, from which quantity to which quantity, those details we can see. This is how we can see the changes in the demand details of the particular material. So next is we need to evaluate the PAR or the demand quantity. How much is the planned quantity? How much is assigned? What is the total assignment? All those details we need to check. So to do this evaluation of the materials, we need to use the transaction called MD73 or the menu path is shown here. Once we go into the transaction, enter the material, which metal we want to see the details of this total requirement evaluation and also enter the which plant. Now, <clears throat> uh, the output list. Output list again see different uh, uh, options are there. Total requirement without assignment, plant requirement with assignment, customer requirement with assigned plan element. Like this, we can have different options. Accordingly, system will give the output. You need to understand these things. Because how much plan is there, how much plan was consumed, how much plan is remaining, those things are what is important to the planner. Similarly, it is important to the buyer also. Also, when you do this total requirement, see how we entered the demand, metal wise, requirement plan wise, MRP controller wise, the same options are available here to do the evaluation also. So we can see the evaluation in different formats and different collective, I mean collection of different uh, uh, kind of materials we can uh, group together and uh, see the details. So once we enter the detail and execute the transaction, so this is the screen which is appearing. So here we see what is the plan details on week wise. So here we entered week 14, 15, 16, what is the plan details? And then here we see what is the requirement type, what is the version number, and then whether it is active or not active, those details also available here. <clears throat> and then what is the quantity, for example, the week 14, the plan of 75, out of which 10 numbers quantity is assigned to a sale order. Those details also we are seeing here. Now let us validate the details in MD04 stock requirement list. This is MD04. Here we put the material under the plant. So we can see the sale order and quantity. What is the sale order? What is the quantity? You can see here. If you scroll down this page bottom, you can see the that the plan what we saw that 70 number that also you can see. I suggest you to do this practice in the test system. So let us see another metal code or a plant uh, metal material where the sale order is there. Now we are having the sale order which is having the requirement date of 14th April. That is serial, uh, sale order number is showing here 6975, right? That is the sale order. Again, we see the details of the plan, although the requirement type, version, active, not active, all those details are there. We are seeing the sales order details. The sales order detail, no, it is assigned in 14th April. And so it is having the consumption on that particular period so that it is going and consuming that particular week, which is the week 15. That is how the consumption will happen. So these things, unless you practice, unless you do all these entries into the system, you will not be able to understand. You may see these, all these is the, the details of consumption. Those things are not my job. It is a planner job. Fine. But if there is a problem, then you will be only not uh, getting the clarity. Then it will be a problem. So what I suggest is, even though you are a buyer, please understand these concepts clearly, though you are not running the MRP or other details. Next is the PR reorganization. What is the PR reorganization? When you have the demand, what we discuss is the demand will be consumed by the sales order or invoice. Sometimes you have the plan for maybe for example 100 numbers, but the sales happened for only 70. Remaining 30 number plan is there, but it may not be required in future. Sales is not interested in this. They gave the plan of course, but it is not required. So those kind of things we need to clean regularly. The cleaning of this demand is very important. In many organizations, this kind of uh, uh, cleaning of this uh, demand is not happening. That is what is creating a lot of demand into the system and also a lot of exception messages. So regular cleaning of this demand, uh, what is that remaining demand is very important. To do that, we will use this reorganization concept there in SAP. To do the reorganization, using this menu path, we go to the reorganization or transaction is MD74. Let us take a metal which is having the demand like this. Here, this is the situation before reorganization. We are having that material, the version is 00, week 12, 13, 14, requirements are there, 35, 70, 75. Like this, requirements are there. This is before reorganization. 
Now that MD74 we discussed now, that screen when we give it, system will come to the screen. Here enter, what is the plant, what is the material, what is the requirement type, those kind of details enter. And then enter the key date. Key date is from which date the, the reorganization has to be done. That is the important date which you have to select. And then peer reorganization is an important activity. So first we have to check them into the test mode so that we will ensure that whether the reorganization happening or not. And then we execute this. Now we see here the results of the reorganization where the date up to 31st March we gave here. So the requirements before this date are reorganized here. That is the 35, no, the 30 has become zero and also the 70 has become zero. All these things are happening. But when you go and see that the MD63, that the demand, now we are reorganizing the test mode, still the details are there, that the 75 and 70 details are there. So what we should do? So now we have to run the reorganization transaction without test mode. So deselect that the test mode, run the transaction, so that again, the system is giving the same message. We are ensuring that all the details are there. Now, if you go and see that MD73 page, the demand before that date, these things are not available there. This is how we have to do the reorganization. This is very important. This has to be done on a regular basis. So that this itself will resolve a lot of issues in the planning area and the procurement area. So working on this uh, uh, reorganization for independent material, all these things are very difficult and those things manually doing, these are all difficult. So instead of doing the reorganization like individual metal, we can do it at a plant level also, but this has to be done in the configuration system settings. So here we enter the period. Period is the days, number of days. For example, here we can enter as a seven. Seven days before the date, the current date, all the plant in the system will be reorganized. That is what is the function here. Plant wise, we can give the total days. Here we cannot select the individual materials, or total. This is again very useful function for the organization. This is a very powerful function also. So in this session, we discussed this demand management in SAP, how to create the demand, how to see the item history, and how to evaluate the demand, how to do the reorganization of the demand. That is very, very important. So we'll discuss the quiz for the session now. Can we enter the demand in different planning buckets? So there are different planning buckets. Can we enter them? A planned quantity of 100 numbers is entered in week 50, 2022. So what is the meaning of this? How to trace the changes done in the plan? What is plan reorganization? Why is it important to carry out reorganization on a regular basis? So we'll see the answers in the next session. The next session, we will discuss what is MRP and what logic is applied in MRP. Meanwhile, please create demand in system and practice various evaluations, reorganization, etc., which are covered in this session. Please give your feedback to improve flow and contents and also suggest to your friends and colleagues to subscribe to the channel so that they also get the benefit of this knowledge sharing. Thank you. See you in the next session. Take care. Bye.